Welcome to Gun Club Tarot. My name is Brian Griffin. Today I'm going to do a compare and contrast of the holographic card stock for uh, print on demand decks from the Game Crafter of Wisconsin, United States, and MakePlayingCards.com from Hong Kong. Uh, quick background story the project I decided to use to test them started out as the Choose Joy Sister Flirts Meditation Tin and Traveling Altar uh, because uh, the Game Crafter offers custom printed tins and I decided to test them out and did this little set of cards designed to be a, a portable tin. You could take and put a crystal or something else in there with it. So that's the origin of Sister Flirt's meditation cards. But as I said, I decided to test holographic stock. So I did order from each of the two companies. I've already done a quick walk through of the Make Playing Cards holographic version. And if I remember, I will link that. So that's their version. It comes in a custom printed tech box. These are 35 cards, poker size, 2.5 inch by 3.5 inch, custom printed box. And there is a, a card insert. The original order was just the cards because make playing cards cost to me as the creator is double what it costs from the game crafter. On the other hand, they also deliver more quickly. And again, I have notes on this project on digitalgriffindesign.com and I will have a link to that in the notes below. So now I have the package from the Game Crafter. So um, in this order, I ordered two decks and as I said, the cost of the product for these two decks is the same or a bit less than the make playing cards with a uh, note that the production time right now uh, the game crafter has for years run for production and delivery to me in ohio closer to three weeks this order took four weeks almost to the day their website does forecast shipping days way out i think they're looking at five weeks now to cover themselves so same design on the artwork. So these are the two. It does appear to be a little thinner for make playing cards, which makes sense. As I recall, this is either 300 or 310 GSM, and the Game Crafter uses 320 black core. So here it is. I am going to pause the video and open this and sort them. Uh, unfortunately, the Game Crafter, when they do decks, do not put them in order in any particular order. It's random as they come off of the printer. So I am going to pause and uh, put them in order. Okay, so they're now sorted. So make playing cards on the left, the Game Crafter on the right. I don't have the insert. I haven't opened that yet. Um, this is the insert from the Game Crafter. Uh, pretty 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 basic list of all the cards an introduction to sister flirt and some links so here we go uh, while sorting it I noticed uh, there's a definite ooh, apologies um, difference in the stock as I said this is slightly heavier at 320 this feels almost like a text uh, a not smooth slightly slightly textured and it's just the UV coating you can see not quite as intense not saturated. Um, I did a comparison of the Tarot Sister Who uh, versions from the Game Crafter and make playing cards. So you may want to look at that. That will talk about the color rendition as well. So um, it's, it's you know holographic foil. The shimmer is about the same. Colors overall are pretty good. Pretty similar. No great difference. The cards from the Game Crafter are just the slightest bit larger. 
I'm not sure if that's because Hong Kong uh, Make Playing Cards is doing a metric close equivalent rather than the actual precise imperial measurements, but you can see just a little smidge there. As I say, the colors pretty similar. Holographic foil, pretty similar. Uh, this does have the optional UV coating for protection and it doesn't seem to have hurt the the finish at all or the ability to uh, blind people with them. So here we go. go because I already have a walkthrough with the MPC, I'm not stopping to talk about the individual cards. I just want to sort of see they look pretty similar. I mean, other than the weight of the card, the size and the difference in the back, the front of the cards really would be hard to look at them and say specifically one or the other. Uh, the Tarot Sister Who, there was a definite difference, especially in the, the purple range. A little more. I don't know how his blood is there. It's almost like a line, and I'm not sure if that's the UV coating or the foil. It's more noticeable on this one simply because it's almost all foil. Visible. Limited ink. And my apologies. The printer is contemplating life. Uh, probably checking the Wi Fi connection. So this is a series of 35 prompts expanded from the original tin. I'll have to listen and hope that's not too loud. So again, these are meditation prompts. Um, they are available for sale at both Make Playing Cards and The Game Crafter. Um, I'm not really expecting to sell lots of them. Okay. As I was saying, they are available for sale. Um, obviously, um, pricing at GameCrafter is much better um, with a slower delivery time and possibly um, more of a problem for non-U.S. customers. But they are both available. Likewise, the Tarot Sister Who, which I did not design. Um, however, I assisted Sister Who um, taking their files, turning them into production-ready files, and I managed the shops for them at the print on demand sites Sister who is on the autism spectrum and find social media even more frustrating than average so i take care of that for their ministry and take a very nominal percentage so that it becomes a business operation for tax purposes so there you have it again you can maybe there shows a bit better yeah there we go make playing cards Similar packaging, tech box, custom printed tech box with an insert, slightly larger insert from the Game Crafter, and again, slightly heavier stock. All of these are, uh, are available as the two places. I do still have a stock of the Choose Joy tin, as well as the Tarot Sister Who, at my shop at thedigitalgriffin.com. I know lots of websites, similar names. I will provide links. And I hope you had fun. If you have any questions about the cardstock uh, or the printing, etc., uh, I will provide a link to my website where I summarize my experience. Certainly glad to answer questions. And if someone happens to feel inspired to, to buy a set, it certainly would be appreciated now that I'm a independent deck creator. Thank you.